This is the story of how a simple idea turned into a global movement which created confidence and optimism. The idea, planting trees to fight the climate crisis. The movement, plant for the planet. The confidence, with the help of many and the right tools, we can fight the climate crisis. How did it all start? In 2006, the Billion Tree campaign was initiated by Wangari Matai, our Mama Miti, and Nobel Peace Prize laureate from Kenya. This was the inspiration for Plant for the Planet to start the biggest economic and peace-building program ever. Wangari Matai and tens of thousands of Plant for the Planet ambassadors knew that reforestation was not solving the climate crisis, but it was buying the time for humanity to get the problem solved. Congratulations. After Wangari passed away, the UNEP handed over her campaign to the children from Plant for the Planet. But that was not all. Live in New York at the UN General Assembly, Felix called for the planting of a trillion trees in 2011. We combine our forces, old and young, rich and poor, and together we can plant a trillion trees. We can start a trillion tree campaign. That was the day the trillion tree campaign was born. Today, with more than 13 years' experience, Plant for the Planet stands for many successfully implemented global planting events. What helped them get there? The globally rolled out Stop Talking, Start Planting campaign with its strong call to action tapped into the feelings of millions of people, inviting them to join the movement. It became the battle cry of people all around the world. Stop talking and start planting. But the big breakthrough came with scientific proof. Tom Crowther, a young scientist, answered a question the children asked and nobody was able to answer. How many trees do we need? Because until recently, we didn't even know the first thing about the global forest system. We didn't know how many trees there were to start with. In close cooperation with Plant for the Planet, the Crowther Lab at ETH Zurich was built and finally proved that there is room on the planet for a trillion trees and that they are the right response to rising temperatures. Hope became certainty. It's not just about how many trees we plant, but it's also about planting these trees well. Starting in 2013 on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, Plant for the Planet shows that high quality restoration is possible for only one euro per tree. But how do we reach our goal of a trillion trees? A question answered by the right tool, the Plant for the Planet app. Invented and programmed by the young people themselves, the app makes it easy to plant trees worldwide and without limitations. The app is open source, free of cost, and without divulging personal data. With this app, you can support tree planting projects from all over the world. No matter if you're an individual, a major corporation, or even a country, you can plant your own forest. And thanks to GPS data and drone imagery, you can even watch your forest growing. Which is why we're so optimistic. One thing is for sure, Wangari Matai would definitely have been happy to have had such an app. But now, Let's stop talking and start planting. In 2020, our campaign goes into the next round with an equally strong key visual and call to action. You might ask yourself, what can I do? The children have a straight answer. Plant your company forest, as many trees as possible. Become part of the campaign. Take a picture of yourself and activate your network Pass this video to other important leaders and influencers. Thank you for watching.